The Feast of Our Lord Jesus Christ, the King In his encyclical of December 11, 1925, His Holiness, Pius XI, denounced the great modern heresy of laicism. Laicism refuses to recognize the rights of God and His Christ over persons and peoples and organizations, the lives of individuals, families, and of society itself, as though God did not exist. This laicism ruins society because in place of the love of God and one's neighbor, it substitutes pride and egotism. It begets jealousy between individuals, hatred between classes, and rivalry between nations, as we see in our world today. The world denies Christ because it ignores his royal prerogatives. It must be instructed on this subject. Now, a yearly feast can attain this end more effectively than the weightiest documents issued by ecclesiastical authority. The Holy Father has instituted this new feast to be a public, social, and official declaration of the royal rights of Jesus as God the Creator, as the Word incarnate, and as Redeemer. This feast makes these rights to be known and recognized in a way most suitable to man and to society by the sublimest acts of religion, particularly Holy Mass. In fact, the end of the Holy Sacrifice is the acknowledgement of God's complete dominion over us and our complete dependence upon Him. This act is accomplished not only on Calvary, but also through the royal priesthood of Jesus, which never ceases in his kingdom, which is in heaven. The great reality of Christianity and of Christ the King is not a corpse hanging from a cross, but the risen Christ reigning in all the glory of his triumph in the midst of his elect who are his conquest in heaven. Let us now look at a different perspective of Christ the King. We must go back to when Christ lived and was being judged by Pilate. Here is your king. Pilate offers the Jews to recognize and proclaim Jesus as their king. The Jews make their choice. We have no king but Caesar, they shout with satanic fury. Caesar will be their king and Jesus will be put to death. The Eternal Father perpetually presents to the world the Divine Redeemer, present and alive in the Eucharist, saying, Here is your King. Here is your King to be adored, to be loved, and to be served. At the same time, Caesar presents himself to reign over the hearts of the Christian. Caesar is the world, with all its demands, its maxims, its sensual joys. Jesus is the host, the humiliation, the suffering, the crown of thorns, the cross. It is not possible for you to remain long in indecision. You must make your choice between Jesus and the world. You must rally to the flag of one or the other. May Christ's Eucharistic reign, the reign of his sacred heart, come into the world to save our souls. May Christ become the king of peoples, the king of families, the king of individuals. How blessed must be the soul that can say to Jesus in all truth, You are my only king, my only good, my only love.